Vladimir Putin, during the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg, pledged to supply free grain to six African nations in the wake of the collapse of the Black Sea Grain Deal. The Black Sea Grain Deal facilitated the export of grain and other products from Ukraine through the Black Sea to various markets, including many in Africa. Due to Moscow's decision to abandon the UN-brokered arrangement and block Ukrainian exports, Russia aims to replace the grain shipments with supplies to Burkina Faso, Zimbabwe, Mali, Somalia, the Central African Republic, and Eritrea. The two-day summit hosted by Russia seeks to present the country as a global power, despite facing significant Western sanctions and criticism over its war in Ukraine. Western sanctions, which have restricted the sale of Russian agricultural products abroad, were cited as one of the reasons for Russia's withdrawal from the grain deal. The end of the grain deal is expected to have a dramatic impact, leading to fears of a potential food supply crisis in some African nations. Observers believe that Putin might use the summit to advocate for direct grain supplies to Africa, possibly excluding Ukraine from the global market. Moscow has previously utilized grain-related issues to gain support from countries in the global south for its actions in Ukraine and to rally opposition against Western sanctions. Russia has argued that the grain deal favored well-fed European markets over African countries, though the deal had contributed to reducing global food prices by more than 23 percent. Despite Russian diplomatic efforts, there are indications of growing frustration in Africa over Russia's decision to withdraw from the grain deal. The number of African heads of state attending the summit has decreased compared to the previous Russia-Africa summit held in 2019, with some attributing this to pressure from the West on African countries. The role of the Wagner mercenary group in several African countries, including the Central African Republic, Libya, Mali, and Sudan, remains a sensitive topic. Yevgeny Prigazin, the leader of the Wagner group, was spotted at the summit, even though there had been an agreement for him to be in exile in Belarus. The Kremlin's continued support for the Wagner Group in Africa has drawn attention and raised questions about its influence and actions on the continent. Russia's military has been accused of intensified targeting of grain infrastructure in Ukrainian port cities, causing damage to port facilities and civilian vessels after exiting the grain deal. Oleksandr Kubrikov, Ukraine's deputy prime minister for the restoration of Ukraine, reported that Russia is restricting shipping in areas near Crimea and Bulgaria's territorial waters. Remember to subscribe.